Her name was Caroline Edwards. Um, and this is their cynical move here. They think, you know, well, we'll bring in cops. They can't attack cops. Well, we'll bring in a, an attractive blonde. I mean, it's a woman. They can't. We actually can. Ah, uh, Greg Kelly, Newsmax host who on multiple occasions has proven to everyone that he's a pervy wanker. But aside from that, uh, has raised his hand to say, no, we will absolutely attack cops as long as they don't go along with whatever narrative we want them to go along with. And in this case, he's talking about officer, Capitol, uh, officer Caroline Edwards who testified on the first day of the House Select Committee hearings on the riots that took place on January 6th. Her testimony was powerful to say the least. So I wanna give you a reminder of what she had to say. And then later, we'll tell you what Greg Kelly had to say in response to her powerful testimony. What I saw was just a war scene. It was something like I had seen out of the movies. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. There were officers on the ground, um, you know, they were bleeding, they were throwing up, they were, you know, they had, uh, I mean, I saw friends with blood all over their faces. I was slipping in people's blood. So as she's giving that testimony, Greg Kelly is thinking about how attractive she is. He's also thinking about how he can essentially belittle her and minimize the message that she's sending there, the experience that she had on January 6th. And a good way to do that, especially with a right wing audience, is to just draw attention to the fact that she's a woman, that she's blonde, that she's attractive. So you can't really take anything she says seriously, right? Here's a little more of what she had to say in response to her testimony. You fell, you had a fall, gotcha. That's a line of duty injury as well. A couple of hundred yards from you, Ashley Babbitt was being dragged backwards out of the Capitol as she was bleeding out, shot by one of your fellow officers, even though she was unarmed, posed no threat to anyone, okay? But you bumped your head. Got it. Comes off like somebody with a chip on her shoulder. This self-aggrandizing, you know, I worked holidays, weekends. Yeah, well, you had a job to do. Yeah, you got paid. Um, and you're being used. You're being used right now. Uh, I'm sorry you are called names, but this happens particularly in your line of work. She uh, tripped on blood, the blood of officers who were being battered by the Capitol rioters that he is providing cover for as we speak. Yeah, but I wanna clarify a number of things. First, that was, she slipped on the blood later, but when she was knocked down, it was right wingers who were smashing the fence into her and they knocked her down and she hit her head on the concrete. But she had already been knocked unconscious because she hit her chin on the on the railing. Okay, so she didn't just slip, okay, they were assaulting her. Now- No, cry me a river though, cry me a yeah, river. Yeah. Uh, you got assaulted, you got assaulted, well you had a job to do. That's, I mean, that's what he's saying there. Yeah, so uh, this guy's an old school bully, okay? And he thinks, oh, you think I won't attack her just because she's a woman? Oh, oh yeah, I can, yeah, I can, I don't care. I don't care that she's an attractive woman. Well, why'd you bring it up if you don't care? So now apparently you do care, but you're saying like, oh, normally I wouldn't bully attractive women. I would normally bully other people, but okay, I'll do it in this case too to protect my beloved Trump. And so now let's get to the greatest irony of all. You know why Greg Kelly's famous at all? No, I don't, tell me. His father is Raymond Kelly, the New York police commissioner. Oh, fascinating. Okay, so Ray Kelly's no longer the police commissioner, but he was for a long time in New York and he was very famous in New York. So Greg Kelly is just a do nothing loser. And since his father was a famous cop, they're like, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm a spoiled little brat. I, didn't, I never did anything for myself. They're like, oh good, you get a TV show on Newsmax, okay? But now remember, you just pop it whatever the hell Trump says and you shut up about it and yeah, get out there and attack everyone who's our opponent. Oh yes, sir, absolutely, sir. And now they're like, okay, now attack cops. He's like, 
uh, awkward. I've always defended cops. My dad was a top cop in New York. But he's got to be a good boy. Yeah, you be I, a good boy. Yeah, yeah. And I and I, whenever cops uh, attack unarmed black men, I say it's awesome. It's fantastic. They had it coming. And and whenever they don't work, we say, oh well, we had to do a work stoppage because you guys offended us, etc. Now it's a cop who actually was assaulted, and she didn't shoot anyone. She showed incredible restraint. And not shooting them. He's like, who cares? You don't care. So what? You had your head smashed in. Yeah, you deserved it. Huh? You think I'm not gonna bully you? I'm gonna bully you. And you're a cop. I don't care. I don't care your life was in danger. I don't care that you were working overtime. All right. Yeah. Hey, where's my check? I got my check. It is fascinating how he framed it as if like he's a tough guy for going after a female cop. Who you're right, Jenk. Not only did she show an incredible amount of restraint. All the cops who were being battered by these rioters showed a great amount of restraint. They didn't open fire. And the Ashley Babbitt situation, you know, you have a rioter who's trying to get through a broken window to try to get to members of Congress who just earlier, by the way, they're, they're chanting, hang Mike Pence. They want to do damage to these lawmakers for not essentially stealing the election on behalf of their daddy, Donald Trump. I wish she hadn't gotten shot and killed. But let's keep it real, she put herself in that position and pretending as if there was no onus on her, that she did nothing wrong. She was just this innocent, polite tourist who was shot and killed is ridiculous. Yeah, and I mean, come on. He never cared about cops, he never cared, all that blue lives matter nonsense. The minute it's for his daddy Trump, he sells out cops. Who were actually in danger, doesn't give a damn about him. He's just a cheap, cheap bully. Okay, Greg, it, that, that stuff might work uh, among coward conservatives and it, who get scared easily. It doesn't work with us progressives. Uh, so y- y- give us more, I don't care. We're gonna call you out every time on what a loser bully you are. Go ahead and cry me a river. Yeah, can you imagine him in the middle of that riot? Oh, he would have wet himself. <laughs> Daddy, where are you? Well, I'm so scared, shoot them all, shoot them all. Right, that's what he would have been like. 100%. Oh my God, if they were a, a different color, like black or Muslim or brown, or oh, shoot them all, Daddy, shoot them all. Oh, oh, it's Trump. Kill the cops. Who cares? Bash their heads in. I'll just say they slipped. Who cares? And I'll just bully them on air. Cops. Who gives a goddamn about the cops? Right, Greg? You're the one saying it, Greg. So you don't give a crap about cops, right, Greg? So we're super clear on that. All cops understand that Greg Kelly hates you and totally and utterly sold you out. That's a piece of crap that Greg Kelly is. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.